And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So last time uh, we ended up getting the Emerald Star out of the bottom of the great tree in Boggly Woods. And then uh, cleaned up all of the troubles that, um, that have piled up since the last time we checked the trouble board. So this time we need to go up or climb. And for that, we're gonna need to go take, uh, to go have a little talk with the boss of the Piantas. Get in the pipe, Mario. Not sure how you got in the pipe backward, but okay. Okay, so now we need to go to the west of town. Oh right, you're here. But I just went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was, a, it was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. This is pretty nutso, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. It sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? The one you just told me about yet, bird. It's nice to meet a new type of creature from the, Mar from the Mario universe. Now what do we do with them? I don't know, how about we make them the Mafia? <laughs> sounds about right. Tell me about Rumble Bump Volcano. But like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought it was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know, but as fate would have it, a blooper named Louie heard me shrieking, uh, shrieking and found me in this one town. Louie was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Louie's a madman. Back in his hometown, he, he they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight. Uh, he helped me fight to run the bomb volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat, and the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the, the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic, 100-foot-tall statue that stomped around. Now, the the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on his forehead. Now I can jump high, but high and uh, not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan to, for Bluey to hit the weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. The jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit. And that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to, uh, to the room to, where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Struel continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. If you want to hear what I've been to, uh, been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Hey there, I'm Bluey. This guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. It's her story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tricked. What happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks, Sam. You can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. A pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging out with him. You'll pay, Luigi! Poor Luigi.
Let's see what rumors are going on. Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. Toadette, the animal lover. It's not terrorizing Bogley Woods have withdrawn. Just what was their motive? Okay. Now, how do we go talk to the dawn? Sure. Okay. So now we can play the plane game and the paper game. You know, let's try let's try these out. Well, this looks exciting. So no explanation. That was a profit of two. <laughs> well, we probably have enough Piantas to try the other game, too. Oh, there is an option for rules. I guess I could have done that first. Okay, so are these just... Oh, okay. There was wind. Well, that happened. Yes, I will be rescuing Princess Peach. I'm Pianta for three coins. Gotcha. Good. I'm glad that was for nothing. So we got two more games, and they're probably based on the, uh, the curses that we can get. Sure. Okay. So... That's what's going on at the Pianta Parlor. Um, ah, that's the Robo Boss on the east side. So back to the east side we go. back here. Are you 
the guy. What's that? You want to meet that lion, cheat and steal, and no good jerky for brains don't be onto? Real thieves like us and the poorest dirt never catching a break because of that guy. Did you, did you come here knowing all that? And you, and you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want us to tell you how to meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 horns. And no budget on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricing. Then's the brakes. Eh, I got it. it. You'll pay? Really? Yes! I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. I bet I could have bargained them down. Like, a fair amount. Okay, I'm clearing those ears and out and listen here. There's a parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the parlor. Buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Okay, let me write that down. Shroom, dizzy, dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? You do that and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favorite color is. The answer, yellow. You got that? Not green, not blue, yellow. You hear me? See, yellow is the password for getting into Don's scumbag's oh so comfy office. You got all that? It's almost like they already did it last game. Okay, so the shop next to the Pianta Parlor. Uh, I probably need to store something first. Actually, no, I do have the, uh, the two item slots I need for this. So, Ride Room, and Dizzy Dial. Oh, is your mustache. What's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Let's try this again. Uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance on Don Pianta. Good for you. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Hey, this is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you, de you don't know that. If you got no business here, scramble him. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me, that's funny. You, a stand-up comedian? No, you ought You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crime babies weep. You want us to run, to run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a room. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. You just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done. Uh, till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? 
So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting to check that ticket on a blip. Out with it. Was that? You wanna help some broad got herself kidnapped? And to risky this dame you are collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss! And those things that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny is such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that loud. And that treasure is as real as I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skitty folk war. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like this. I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, then he's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, yo! It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. What if you say goes, boss? I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Okay. Well, um, let's see if we can find any uh, hints as to their whereabouts. You know anything about them? Nope. And you're just telling me how to get in touch with them? Hmm. What if they're down here, actually? Because we can get to the underground town from here. Mario characters are so good at describing people that you can instantly visualize them, right? Doesn't seem dope. Yes, I know about stylish moves, thank you. The Anta Parlor is not what I want to know about. How about you? Do you know something useful? Nope. Stylish moves. So I guess they're probably not here unless they're behind this door, which I don't know how to open it.
Get the button a little too early. Okay, so they didn't appear to be down there. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Large bob -omb? Might be a lucky lottery. Sure, why not? Okay. Interesting. This actually runs based on the GameCube clock. Well, it's almost midnight. Oh, we didn't win. Oh well. That's how lottery tends to go. And yet people play it anyway. I definitely will, but uh... right now I'm just seeing if one of you people knows about uh, Frankie and Francesca. I mean, I'm sure it's about, but you're about as, you're probably more likely to win this lottery than the real lottery. Unless, of course, it just kind of fakes you out regardless. So as far as I know, there really isn't much anything here. There's that one dude and I doubt that he's going to say anything different. That's just the guy who's trying to do some writing. Whose son has absolutely no faith in, it, in him. Now oh, what you got? Now why would I want this? Double the damage Mario takes? Winning numbers are not truly randomly generated, instead the GameCube determines which number to show based on how much time has passed since the purchase of a ticket. The above text is from Super Mario Wiki, blah blah blah. Yeah, some wikis do that. And it's kinda dumb. But I get that it's under Creative Commons license, but you don't need to license every single piece of text that someone decides to to copy. The checking within four to ten days will reward the player with the fourth prize, 25 to 35 days, the third prize, 85 to 115 days, the second prize, and 335 to 395 days with the first prize? What?
checking the board in, on any other day will result in a randomly generated non-winning number and reward a player with a consolation prize. How do people figure out these things? Oh hey, found him. Hey, back off, you creep! You want something, or you want, or you just sliding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him. Frankie, what should we do? If Daddy finds us now, oh, I don't know. We're both coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to hit back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do if we uh, do you if we do that? And just a baby doll. If we can t if we can call if we can <clears throat> if we can talk just calm like with the boss, you'll understand. Oh Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run. To the ends of the if uh, to the ends of the if if we Earth if we have to. Ah! But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can't, Frankie! The more tr you try to put out the flames of love, the harder they burn! Until I marry you, no one will extinguish those flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Um, we, uh, kind of need to do the thing, and, yeah. There's someone we're trying to save. What you say to me, you terrible, terrible man? Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you, never. I won't move from this spot. You won't move from this spot, you say? Uh, what should we do? I mean, I guess we should go tell Dumpy onto something. But I, I don't want our luck to turn terrible, whatever that means. Mario is single-minded. He must continue on his mission, regardless of the cost. Ah, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna break my mood? So give, what you got? You know the whereabout of those two runaways? Sure do. Oh, well, is that a true fact? Broke Boat Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey you two Nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I, I'm sorry. I'm truly I am. Frankie, so, back you come. Head hung low and wet your tail between your legs. No, daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it for I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's all my fault. If you gotta punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. Daddy. Boss. Yeah. Enough. Quiet. Both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you are like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two, it's like a poison shrew up my gut. Daddy! 
boss. I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight. Both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, daddy. Dad. Uh, no, way. I, I mean, boss. Thank you so much, daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you she'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. And Jessica, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. So, tickets? You still here? <laughs> well, you found my daughter, and you gotta come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, the deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Oh no, and that guy's got a smile on ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Eh, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Okie dokie. Bit more melodrama you think would be in the Yakuza series. That was indeed some pretty melodrama. Wow, we did it, Mario! We can go to Glitzville! Uh, yes. Thank you, Coops. Got an email. Um, that's the wrong button. Gear, fork and things. Technology. I mean, when you've spent the last 10 years living inside of a dragon's gut, I mean, we're going pretty far past that pr that front door. In fact, we're going up into the sky. Also, he sent us a selfie for some reason. Let's go ahead and save. This group goes to, goes to Glissville. Will you be joining us on a flight today? Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. Can do. Time for some people's favorite chapter in the chapter I'm most reluctant to play. Is there a reason for that, uh, Tyrion? For it to start, gotcha. Well, it's starting. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory.
I do like how they use the athletic theme from uh, Mario 3 for this. Down we go, dropped into Glitzville. Um, yeah, this would be Glitzville, all right. How do they make it float? I mean, it has never, you know, plunged from the sky or anything, has it? Shine Sprite sitting right there. Time to hunt down that crystal star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. Well, I guess not. <laughs> Now we can hit the switch. I shall open up this little hidden path. Wait, there is like a thing on this screen. Maybe it's just like an address stamp or something. Power plus partner. Lose your partner's attack by one. Hmm. This guy seems important. Oh wow, I actually made it. Although I forget what I can do from here. I'm going to take a guess and say there's actually not anything that I can do from here now, but there will be later on. So here's our shop. Thunderbolt, Earthquake, Repel Cape. Makes me harder to hit. Point swap swaps your partner's HP and FP. And Super Shroom. Hmm. Well, we can probably get rid of that uh, dried shroom. And let's get rid of that dizzy dial. And also my actual favorite color is blue. Like the super shroom. Okay. I feel like this is going to be some sort of secret passage. Just getting that uh, get smart vibe. I did. I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure the blimp is the only way to get here. Don't call random strangers. Don't go placing phony calls. Please stick to the seven digit numbers you're used to. I mean, other than the blimp, I'd be hard pressed to find a different way to get up here. Okay. A pro what? Hostile buy out of a hot dog stand. Capitalism embodied in gold, silver, and bronze bombs. The only way to get here needs either tons of money or favors from the Mafia. 
Yeah, sounds about right. Savage battles, you say? I'm not a, I'm not a nobody, I'm Mario. Mario's a pretty famous athlete, you know? Well, this is what they do in the glitz bit, I guess. Wow, this place is so cool! Hey Mario, look up there! There's a battle match going on right now! That's right! Ugh! I think it's about for you to t about time for you to feel the rock! Ugh. Stay down, Pincushion! You don't want more of this! Why do you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimby! Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby! Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rockhawk! I'll give you another world crap class spanaging. I'll give you another world crap. My goodness. I'll give you another world class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Hooey! Champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me! Bring it! I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cuz I'll hurt ya. Yeah! Number one, baby! Rock Hawk is the champ! <laughs> well, we found the object of our desire. Uh, you see that, Mario? I think of it on that shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkle is a crystal star. Um, but that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Mamma mia, now I know what Luigi feels like. Boy, I don't know, Mario. Not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Can we? What should be our move here? Now, yeah, let's do the Mario thing and earn it. And that's the ticket, Mario. Do this thing right. All you have to do is become champ and you'll get that belt fair and square. So, I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tongue is getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Here. Cool. Now we now we just need to pull mission impossible shenanigans. Uh sure. To avoid losing, don't get in the ring. I mean, that's one way, I guess. Sure, Mario. After all, it's only Princess Peach who's on the line. Again. For like the 43rd time. Well, hello. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. That's all you gotta say. I guess. Um, couldn't tell you anything about Prince Mush. What's that, Bob? Want to become a fighter? <laughs> I'm serious. Better go meet with Mr. Grubble. No, no. Mr. Grubble's office is just down the hall. You can't miss it. Don't do it. Just letting us in, huh? Alright. And this be the way into the ring. All right, 
Go on in. Mr. Grub is just inside. Who in tarnation are you, son? Who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? Napoli, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Ooh wee! Now, uh, that do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up and coming. Yep, this place is packed to the gills, young fighters. All primed and rare to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. So, uh, play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn Skippy. Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. The guard going in front of the door and just kind of casually letting people in, I guess. That was just a pull pup. I didn't give a pokey spatoot for fancy big city ways, but I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite! Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earn enough to set me for life. You ain't me here, son. Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. <laughs> yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You ain't me here, son. Sure. As a spirit chief, yeah, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on. This is the walk part of the walk and talk. Let's see. How you like this part? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become champ, son, you get the key to this room. Now's your chance to be a big shot. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League, league Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Go on your way to the... the to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. It wouldn't be worth it if it weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, Pog. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ? I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fight. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign a little bitty contract to be a fight. Ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name down here, okay? Okay, sure. Not like we have a choice. We have a crystal star. Best thing you ever done, son! Now, you Mario? Me a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pot, it lacks a little punch. as a fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo-wee! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. <laughs> ain't that a beaut? Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around once a lifetime. <laughs> yep, everybody will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now we've got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? Uh, 
Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Should've did, Khan. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you'd be so kind, please follow me. And I wonder where our adventure will uh, lead us. As you know, your contract fired now, so you must buy by some rules. First and foremost, what Greva say what Mr. Greva says goes. Period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Greva releases you. There are many other small guidelines that will, that I will explain as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. I just try it once. Walk up to the screen and log on with A. And pick reserve a match. Yeah, Mr. Grubba, if you had this room clean too, you would also show it to the newcomers. Go ahead and reserve a match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Get ready, get your fizz dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your fizz battle's gonna be against the Goomba Brothers. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about any detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, Pod. Who the hell walks into the walls? Someone who's, um, whose scripting is busted. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops uh, the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba says fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Really easy. If you satisfy the, con the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, You'll get a shot at the major league. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? It sure did. Okay, good. For now, just wait until your secure until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Sure thing. Just wait right here by the door. Oh, Gonzalez, much time. Follow me, though. Okay, security is here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Can do. Can I get Goombell out so that we can go? Oh. Hmm, you're uh, you're not doing too great, are you? Let's give you a mushroom before we go in. So here's the issue you have with this chapter: it's basically a tournament art. That much is true. Squaring off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Brothers, and a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Brothers have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How do you, Goomba Brothers? How y'all feeling today? Y'all ready for this fight? <laughs> are you kidding, man? Walra is ready to bonk a fool or two. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? Cocky idiot, that's who. Wait and just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think you may be all call an ambulance for him now just to save some time later. 
Ha! <laughs> Take it to Ang Five fans. There's a great Gonzalez now striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts. Strolling up late like he owns the place. <laughs> okay, now Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk. Hey, those tall cowards! Those chickens attacked us before the bell rang! Well, that is it! Come on, we aren't losing the punks to, like them. Let's waste them. Ah, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Oh shit, it's Mario, we fucked up again. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's an item. HP drain. Um... I may have forgotten to do something. Well, I guess we're gonna see what happens when we don't do the thing that we've been told to do. The Great Gonzalez wins! Tell me, son, what was the first taste of victory like? That fight? What a joke. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. Oh, whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear from him, folks. Yeah, the Great Gonzalez! Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd. You pump them up more. I'm hoping, I'm hoping you give me a little more razzle dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene and Kiel give you a fight. Now. See ya. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Three coins. The next fight will not be set up. The next fight will not be set up until you select reserve match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. You're a rook. How's your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just a bush lead shrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This, here, this guy's here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb! Well, now that we got to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb! As, as Mr. Lean was saying, you better, Bomb! Obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you're clear to the conditions and win, you get to fight higher ranked foes, Bomb! If you can't clear them, you bomb end up <laughs> battling a lower rank fighter. Bomb! If you can't climb the bomb, ranks of <laughs> fighting the bottom of the barrel. Bomb! Bomb! Yeah, my man's got, you know, good speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes. Bomb! Advice is always useful. Bomb! Bomb! Right, man, whatever. Anyway. This lean, this lean machine over here is Benny and <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. No, I am. He's leaving that bed over there. Your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like a cushioned bed in the champs room. Right it doesn't really feel a star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Clefto. <laughs> Cleftor, now I like to make friends with mustache. Easy there, Cleftor. You ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to it. Anyway, that's the core mind elite crew, man. If you need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me have gotta eventually square off, so good luck, man. Wouldn't hurt to take a rest. But, um, as our bomb buddy here stated, when we go to reserve a match, 
Well, boy, Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me see here. Your next opponent will be ranked 20 in the Glitz Pit, the Goomba Brothers. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to let your en let your enemy damage you three times, okay? Just so dang boring when the match is too one-sided. You hear what I'm saying to you? Now get in there and kick some behind. Now I'm going to save you like reading out all of this text all the time. Just wanted to do the first couple at least. But now you see, we're not fighting upward. We're fighting downward. And yes. Get yourself ready to battle! Um, and what I'm gonna do is, um, switch to Flurry, just in case they decide to attack her. And we gotta get hit three times, right? Which means we can take two of these guys. Letting go of the controller, because if I guard, I'm not taking damage. Well, we got the bingo. Not that we really need it. But it feels good to get. That time I did try the super guard. <laughs> so although it is quest related uh, text. A lot of it is going to be very samey. So yeah, that's that's the main reason why I'm not reading every single one of these. The next opponent is the KP Koopas. No jumping. Gotcha. Hey dog, looks like the next match is against me. Good luck man, the both of us. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Koops, because he didn't jump. I feel like there was very little build-up uh, going up into the fight with the guy who decided to pal up with us right from the beginning. Also, I think we've got some tattling to do, so I'm gonna have to actually switch back to Gundala. Also a bit rude of them to uh, decide we don't get to jump- oh jeez. That just took out like seven or eight people in our audience. That's rude. Oh right, I, I do read these. What's the KP Koopa? Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Looks like its abilities are just like any other Koopa, so you ought to be a piece of cake. Unless, of course, we are not able to jump on him. In that case, well, let's do our best. 
Go for easy just because you know King K Mario. That's what friends are for. Paratrooper. It's a Koopa Paratrooper of a different color. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. His attacks are the same as your average garden variety Koopa Paratrooper. So just do the same thing as always. Stomp on it, flip it, and drop his defense to 0. Now his bonk is pretty effective against it too. Come on, let's get him. How do we deal with flying Koopa? That's a good question. I guess one thing that we could do, as I remember, oh, well I do have this HP dream. Let's see how well that works. Oh, that worked out quite well. There we go. Dealt with the one in the sky. Early. Honey syrup. Four coins are we, we went up one coin in pay grade. Hey, way to hand out a beat down out, out there, man. You beat me straight up. You swing the other way next time though, you know what I'm saying? I wanna know what happened to this locker. Like someone got super angry and just started pounding on it with it with their feet. Mighty foot engaged. A zero. Hmm. What? I wonder what the deal is with this. Also, they're not they're not a, they're not underground. They're way above ground. Like way above ground. <laughs> Or up in the sky, my friend. The Pokey Triplets. At least one special move, I think I can do that. Only rich people can get here. <laughs> Shady overground fights. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. A merciless executioner. Go ahead. Touch us. It won't hurt too much. Maybe it's still worth, like, saying their taunts. Because some of them are pretty good. Anyway, we've already tiled Pokies, so um, I'll just start right off with a special move. So pretty much hitting those uh, those target coins will grow the size of our attacks. But if we miss once, then our attack is locked to whatever we grew it to.
Oh boy, another four coins. Ooh. Hey, what's cracking, G man? You just finished beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck, man. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. Uh, get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you fall. Stop that, too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll bang you from the glitz bed. Understood? Again, dude? Man, you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Ah, don't sweat it, B Money. Jolene can take that too and shove it up her nose. I always chase that girl anyway, man. You got a little thing for her? Shut up, K. Now, you folks will pardon me. I must be off. Well, that was a strange thing what just happened. And 16, the dead bones. Avoid using any items. Okay. I should be able to avoid using items, sure. I still like that, that animation. It's like, they actually thought of, what if Mario's standing in front of the door? The dead bones. We're gonna take the skin off your bones. Please don't. Don't use items. That shouldn't be a problem. Literally all I need to do is miss my timing on that attack. We did win. Who would have thought? How much is it? Five coins? Five coins! <laughs> Man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Dog. You're the real deal, man. The realest I ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you a lift, just tell them. You just tell them King K said to back it up. Biz out! Oh. Ah, it hurts! Quiet. My foot! Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Ouch! Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, will you? Mommy! Out of the way up there. Whoa. Sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Sure does. But let's not even get into a whole conversation about actual professional wrestling. Hey Jewel, how you doing? Spike Storm. Avoid using flower points. Okay. I think I can do that. Spike Storm. 
We're gonna spike bomb you into submission, punks! Normal that the game screen is so small? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that worked great. Also, I just realized, um, we need towels on these guys. That's a spiny. Basically a spike covered Koopa. <laughs> Looks painful. Max HP is 3, attack is 3, and defense is 3. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them while they roll up. So when they go back to normal, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to 0. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try using a, a pow block or some other item. Ow. I'll go in with the Lakitu here. That's a Lakitu. It's a member of the Koopa clan that rides on clouds. Max HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it while it's holding up a spiny egg, it'll, you'll take damage, so don't do it. Spiny eggs slowly hatch into spinies, so beat the Lakita before fighting the spinies. Oh, this book does not answer my real question. Why does it keep all the spiny eggs? There's not a whole lot I can do right now, is there? Oh, come on. I know where it keeps them. Um, but we can't use um, we can't use FP for this fight. So I guess I'll just use this power block, which apparently affects the Lakitu. Uh, switch over to Flurry. Go ahead and use Body Slam on the Lakita to take him out. Oh, jeez. They got up right away. How do we do this without using FP? I guess I'm just gonna have to use items. I don't like having to use all of those items, but um, what else were we gonna do to fight to finish that fight without a feat? Is it six coins? No, it's still five coins. Hey man, check this! I heard the hot dog standing outside is getting a new menu item. That yeah, sounds like it's some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fools even saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You gotta snack out on it. You think? Okay, well, I guess we can do that. Look at him. Big friggin' deal. No, bad! So very bad! Behave yourself, Egg! Boing, 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 boing. No, bad! Come back! Help! My imported egg escaped! Somebody catch it! 
I'm gonna catch this star piece first, if you don't mind. Trying to. Can you please get out of the way of this uh, of this chase. Oh my goodness, guys, out of the way! Holy hell! Can I just do this? Just blow it away. Nope. I forget what the criterion is to um, make this stop. There we go. Most awfully bad! Come down from that bad egg! How am I supposed to get now, fly there? Ooh, don't just stand out with your mustache! Find a way to, to get up there! Oh, I know a way. This is the way that uh, we explored previously. And this time I'm not gonna make it. It's kind of a tricky jump. Or a tricky flight, I guess. Someone just started a game in your stream. What are you talking about, Jewel? I don't understand the things that you are talking about right now. Hmm, now? You wish for us to help you, dar darling little egg? Are you, hon? What do you think we ought to do? You see my Steam pop-ups. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's entirely possible because for some reason the game capture wasn't running So I'm using window capture and that's gonna capture steam pop-ups because I'm running dolphin through steam so I can make the switch pro controller work. A positively endearing choice Mario not that I expected any less we shall free him You sir, mr. Proprietor, won't you allow us to free this poor soul? Ah, oh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. Well, that's just lovely. You're free to do whatever you like, dear egg. Farewell. Hmm. What is it now, dear? You wish to accompany us, you adorable thing. I dare say this little dumpling wants to stay with us, Mario. What shall we do? Yeah, sure, why not? You're all clear, little one. But do try not to get underfoot, all right? And so that's Pat. That's why we were able to uh, get up there. And we got an email. Cool. All right. Um. I don't know why it's so fidgety all of a sudden. That's super weird. Oh, Toad sells in. Okay. Notoriously fakey zesty. A total toes? 
Excuse me? Dungeon's great tree shop. Dungeon's easy to Money and girls are fickle. They're easy come, easy go. Next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shop points. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to that shop in 15 minutes. have an egg in our party now. Surely this will not have any sort of bearing on anything. But um, there is something about it helping us win fights. Don't know what that means, but we'll find out I guess. Um, how's our health right now? Yeah, I think we're Opponent, the hand it offers. Don't use your hammer. Okay, acrobatifying. Got it. And it's not going to help us very much if the egg is just kind of sit in the. Uh, in the ready room there. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. <laughs> Don't use your hammer. I'll tell you one thing that I am going to use. Is title ability. Not head bump. Excuse me, not head bump, title. That's a bandit. This scumbag tries to bump it to bumpy and grab coins, jerk. Max HP is five, attack is two, and defense is zero. If you time your guard well when he attacks, you won't be able to steal anything. Plus the look on a bandit's face when you guard successfully is priceless. If the bandit steals coins from you, defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. Well, surely they can't flee from this battle either, right? Uh, so no hammer, right? Yeah, that's a pretty good look. You know what? I'll put you in back. Dang. Let's tell on the big bandits. That's a big bandit. Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Totally weak. If you guard well when he charges at you, he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. He'll run. Well, I guess they're allowed to flee from battle? That's kind of weird. Switch over to Poops, and finish this guy off. Your fighters stealing money, and running away, which is not allowed in these battles. 
I don't think it's allowed anyway. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway. Six coins, guys! Oh man. Where's my money, man? Where's my money? Boing. Hey, hear the, you hear the latest G Dog? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. Juice shop. King K could, could use a little shorty in his life, dig? Check it out for me, man. Like now? Oh, I guess. Can't just jump over that, really? Going down to the old juice shop. The old fer fermented grape juice shop. Oh my. Wait a minute, haven't I seen you somewhere? Prince Mush, first Glitz Pit champion, fighter long since loss. He shone truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Bonjour, Monsieur Moustache. I wonder what flowers that beautiful mademoiselle likes. She is like a ravishing but thorny red rose, huh? Wee, she is thorny. Rhymes with thorny. for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and rest. Now, let's see who we got next. Rank 13, the Mind Bogglers. Don't use your hammer. Again. Okay. Oh, this looks like a... like a bunch. Also, they're just kind of walking forward without legs for the most part, which is weird. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Well, don't use your hammer means um, Mario's not dealing with uh, Pale Piranha. I see. Many teeny tiny legs. Three. 
hair. That, uh, that piranha plant is having a bad time. I mean, they're all having a bad time, but that piranha plant is having the worst time. Do we get seven coins? Do we? No, it just still sticks. Listen, man. Keep it under your head. But I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get short. Dig? After next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man. That's for sure. But you know what? That's life, though, G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget you once knew the King K. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sad that our minutes long relationship must come to an end like this. The Punk Rocks. Five turns or less. Gotcha. Oh, bro, I'll never forget him. Green Torture Squad, the Punk Rocks. This no take long. This I'm in pain for mustache. I'm probably going to need to tell these guys, right? Swap, Bella, and Tala. Hyperball Club. I didn't say anything. That is the second time tonight. That's a Hyperball Cleft. Like Clefts and Ball Clefts, this one's, uh, this is also a rock monster. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 2. This hyper version can build up its, its uh, this hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to eight on the next turn. It has low HP, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that uh, that item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it before it goes hyper. Gotcha. Um, you know what? This might be a good time for Earth Tremor. Thanks. Keep seeing that as a mustache, even though I know it's a jaw. Oh yeah, the the uh, the cleft jaws. Gotcha. So we're going to need to upgrade this a couple of times in order to even do any damage. Let's see if I can concentrate on hitting this. That should be enough, though. Yep. I think that was under five. Coins. Ooh. And sure enough, King K is nowhere to be found. Go ahead and take a quick rest because it's free. But like they said, it does not restore. Uh, does not restore special points. Also, I need to not take this door. I need to... The bob -omb Squad. And no hammer, again. I got something against my hammer boss. Oh, 
Activision presents Ball Squad. Here we go, Gonzalez. Bomb! I have advice. Just give up now. Bomb, bomb! I think I can manage that. Um, Rumbella, time. B-17 Bomber! That's a bob bomb. It attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah, real smart. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. The bob bomb will get totally mad if you damage it. They have like super sharp fuses. And I guess mad it'll charge and explode it on its next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and if it's mad, it'll blow up at the slightest contact, so don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer, or hit it with something hard like a shell. Well, I can't attack it with a hammer, so that leaves us the one option. Hmm. I am actually going to go ahead. Oh, so running away is for me. Gotcha. I'm gonna appeal. Shell did exactly what I was hoping it would. Oh, that. Yeah, that was definitely painful. But it doesn't matter. We did it. A big old seven coins. Oh, man. Well, we are at the top of the minor league, guys. It is quite lonely without King K around. Bomb! So lonely. Him too weak. Now I am not there. Sound normal to Clefdor. You are in bomb denial, Clefdor. I say weeping in that locker. Bomb, bomb. Right this way, Sir Swoop. This is your dressing room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. And so on. That's exactly the same text as, uh... As we were, uh... Also, Sir Swoop here is told to press A. Which I guess makes sense because it is shaped like a Game Boy Advance. Well, hi, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is gonna be against the Goomba Brothers. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get the crowd fired up. So do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. You got any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolie, okay, son? Well, good luck, Bard. And again, same exact text. The conditions do a triple flip and then yeah. And blah blah. Save deal. Um, hi guys. Yeah. My name is Swoop. Sir Swoop. I mean, nice to meet you. You. Yes, you. So swoop. Not very bad, Bob. Bob. <sighs> Another sucker joins the meat grinder. Well, let's let us get out of this dump. 
Well, dog my cats, if it ain't the great Gonzales. Fixing for a fight, huh? <laughs> Hoo-wee! You're gonna love this. Your next opponent is... Rank 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Armored Harriers. That's right, you're Don Tootin. You finally gotta make a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't you go letting us down now. Now listen, son. This battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. God damn, with a cute little chickadee and just a few. I don't want to be late. Now get in, uh, get in there and bring this puppet home quick. All right, getting excited here. Hmm. Wonder what they'll be like. Also, apparently the timer doesn't go down if you're jumping. I didn't know that. And now, today's main event. The Major League awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzales. But only if he can beat... Only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Inadonis Twins. First, let's get the merciless ex executioner in here, folks. The Great Gonzalez. Oh, looks like we um, already have a bit of a following. Ooh-wee! The Great Gonzalez. I am feeling. Ugh. Oh, Nelly, you heard the fellow folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Oh, they look, um, they look mean. <laughs> Your challenge is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. I know Donald's twins, he said. More like paper dark face bros, and they stink. And he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. And, uh, yeah, and then they said, I did belly buttons run in their family, stink wads. What? I don't understand what... Anyway. And so on, yep. What? How do we know Mom has a naughty? That jerk. We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink you. Oh, one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads. Understand, stinkwad? So that makes you a stinkwad. That's what you're saying, right? Simmer down there, bro. You stinkwad. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left for the functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! Alright, we gotta beat these guys in five turns or less. Wow, if we win, we'll actually be in the Major League. Let's show our stuff. <laughs> Give up now. Yeah, stink wads. You're about to learn our, about our skills the hard way. Uh, so let's go ahead and learn about them first. Because knowledge is power after all. That's an iron cleft. That guy's scary, period. Max HP is 5, attack is 4, and defense is... Unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron clefts. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an iron cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, then the only way to, to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Hmm. You know what? I have an idea. Surely this will work, right? Um, let's go ahead and appeal. Well, that super guard didn't work. Um, 
But yeah, let's go ahead and do Gale Force. We have two options. We can either sit here and try to super guard them into submission, which is definitely gonna take more than five turns, or we can get the hell out of here. We got ourselves a winner! The Armored Harriers! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pound pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. A single coin. Now if you excuse me, I must be going. Oh mercy me! Mario, that adorable little egg seems to have disappeared. Why could the little fellow have, got, had, have gotten himself to? Yo. And Alice! Check me out! Thanks to you, I had safe and sound! Thanks, man! Why, you little rapscallion! You hatched from that egg? Aren't you precious? Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta repay you from, uh, for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole, honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Oh, well, see, I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? First answer wins. What are we calling the Yoshi? You got eight characters. If you give me a name with more than eight characters, I'm not using that name. That is true. Um, and I actually kept track of how long it was. 27 and a half minutes. Uh, the uh, color the color loops around um, every 20 minutes so I think red is kind of uncommon to land on anyway we got a name and it fits perfectly <clears> hmm. <throat> Omelette, huh? Bit on the nose, huh? Well, not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez. Let's go out there and do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Omelette. <laughs> Yoshi's abilities. A primer. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. While riding the Yoshi, he'll move much faster. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll uh, you'll float briefly in the air. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound, or you can use Gulp to inhale enemies. Uh, to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Congratulations for hatching, little newborn Yoshi. Now fight to the death. So let's uh, let's show these guys what for. Let your en what? Let these guys hit me three times. Wow, that's that's rough. That means I have to waste two turns. 
to these guys who have like four uh like four attack points. Let me add him. Yeah, bring it. We're ready for a beating. These ultra hard boss just can't lose. Gonzalez, let me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Stinkball is challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrinky partner. As if that's gonna help him. Well, even if I defend, I'm still going to, uh... I'm still going to take damage, so... Actually, the smart thing to do, and it's too late for that now, would, would have been to put Koops in front with his extra point of uh, defense so he can tank those a uh, couple of hits. Anyway, damage has been taken. Let's do this thing. Gulp. Oh, I have to press and hold on her. Yeah. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so I can't even uh, super guard them into submission. Their, their defense is just too high. There we go. Ouch! You spiked me right in the... That really hurt! Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair! Ah, dang, bro. Has he discovered our weak points? Uh, let's go ahead and use Sweet Tree. Dang. I'm gonna put you in the back just in case. Mario defends and use God. There we go. Big eight star points. Ugh. You have to go back to the minor league now, bro. Think I'm sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez! With this win, you made the Major League! Now that, folks, was what I called a wild and woo fight! A ding and a ding! Doozy! Keep it up, kid! You're going places, I can tell! Hoo-wee! Come on now, folks, give it up! We got a new Major League, and let's hear for him! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Big old seven coins. And Mr. Gonzalez. Mr. Grobo wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Mr. Grobo, I've brought Mr. Gonzalez as you've requested. <laughs> Mr. Lee! Did you my man's now? We knock ground here, miss it. I apologize, Mr. Grandpa. Don't you worry a pretty little head about it. Now what I want to get? Something about Gonzalez? Oh yeah. Gonzalez, you old so-and-so. <laughs> Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you're going places and dang I love when I'm right. 
You just keep on putting them tuckers in them seats. I'm counting on you, sir. You got a special sum sum for you. Go on, take it. A signing bonus of 30 coins, I guess. So yeah, something else has been on my Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday, if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. Some hot pink, maybe some frills on some... You look like a... You look a sad, son. Hey, that's something for another day, Pop. Take a pilot, okay? Alright, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be closing up pretty soon here, Tyrion, just after we're done with this story pretty much. So uh, thanks for dropping by. Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. I'd say Omelette's seen better days, but this is the first day he's seen. This is the Major League locker room. I only use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. We've made it, guys. We're in the big leagues. What's the deal? When I kill these guys, show a little friendliness. Sheesh. Oh, jeez. Stead they got coming through! Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. Mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came, I came all the way over here for you? <laughs> what a waste of my time. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the chance belt. What in the? Hey, you! Get too close to the hawk, you might get rocked. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Bake. Hey, you think you can just smack talk through walk hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake. You shrimpy no belt having wimps. Did your mama teach me? A <laughs> Did your mama teach you any manners? Oh, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip out to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only be oh, only because we ain't the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock. <laughs> Gesturing here like some sort of pro wrestler. You can't see it, cause I don't have what cam on. I don't do the face cam thing. I just do the kitty cam thing. Ah, I really push that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget it. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? That dude's, uh, that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it. And where the heck is the real one at? Also, how do you know this? You're zero days old. Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going at? How do you know I have this? If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. What the heck is this X do? He talks like he's the he talks like he's the man to see about the crystal star. Why would why would he want to help us out though? The whole deal seems kind of whack. Mysteries indeed. Kids grow up so fast these days. Can you just can you smell what he's cooking? Yes, indeed. Anyway, as much as I would like to uh, begin our ascent in the major leagues. It is actually time to call it there. So, I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank you to Zuzia for uh, dropping by in voice for a little while, and to Tyrion, uh, Ricky, 
and uh, Jewel and Zero for hanging out in chat. The, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Wednesday, so tomorrow at 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Code Creator stream. We're going to continue our work on uh, bumper stickers, which once again I didn't get a whole lot of work done on. <laughs> So we're pretty much going to be starting exactly where we left off. Um, it's, a, it's been a bit of a turbulent time, let's just put it that way. Uh, next stream after that is going to be on Saturday at 9pm Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the extra long run stream where we're going to continue our run of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. and. Um, not sure exactly where we're going right now, but um, it is definitely in a forward direction, so we're going to keep rolling with that. Following that is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. Um, we're going to do some Archipelago shenanigans, probably on 0.3.5, because uh, that, if it's not out now, should be out like in the next day or two. Um, no new games, but uh, there's some new options, some bug fixes, pretty good stuff. And that takes us round the wheel, round, uh, round the week, round the wheel to our next uh, regular long run, long run stream, um, which is going to be on uh, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. We're going to continue our run of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and get up to the championship of the glitz spent. Also, uh, there will be a new game changer that will be made available as of the next stream, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Also, uh, sometime in the next week, uh, I'm going to probably be having another matchup of the um, Time Spinner Randomizer tournament. Uh, that's not on the schedule yet, but uh, you can uh, just keep your eye on twitch.tv slash coolyomzx slash schedule and I'll be putting it up there as soon as I get uh, the date and time for that. Alright, so that takes us to the end. I want to thank y'all for watching once again. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.